As of today, there was a sale for a PSA 10 Greninja SIR for $800. Yesterday, there was one around $850. The day before that, there was one for around $1,100, one for $800, one for $800, one for $800. Nine hundred, twelve hundred. You see what I'm saying? Uh, there's a pattern right now with the Greninja SIR and a PSA 10. It is pushing almost a thousand dollars for a copy of the PSA 10 card. Now, why is that? The Greninja SIR, a Scarlet and Violet Splatoon Frog, the boy who is sponsoring Splatoon 3. What's he doing out here for a whole stack? Why is that guy a Grant? Does that make sense? Is there any reason? Is he playable? Is he? Is there demand for it? Well, maybe, right? Greninja is super popular. There's no doubting that. Greninja is literally, in polls for Japan alone, Greninja is one of the most popular Pokemon every single year, either number one on the list or in the top three. Uh, but we're not, we're not in Japan. This is the English market. Greninja, uh, coming into this set, was around a $200 to $300 uh, release 10. And then it went to five hundred, and now it's up to a thousand dollars. And the five hundred sale to the thousand dollar sale was in like a day or two. It was within like a day or two. So that to me is clear manipulation. That's not natural. But why would somebody do this to that card? For for what reason? One, if there's a lot of market manipulation going on with the card, usually the individual doing it. Uh, is probably sitting on a fat stack of these cards. They've bought out the majority of the market. I guarantee if you go back on TCG Player, eBay, etc., you're going to find an individual or you're going to find a couple people that were buying these cards out. They're probably the people that are making sure these sales at uh, PSA 10s of 1,000 are happening. And the amount of profit they can make on each copy they have of this PSA 10 card or the raw card, uh, they can sustain to buy a few at the $1,000 price point, either from random sellers or through themselves, right, to keep this facade going. But here's the kicker. Once the facade is in action and the normal market starts playing into it and FOMOing into it and buying the card and buying the 10, and there are more sales being done by the actual market than it's done by the people manipulating it, now you have a new floor price on the card, a, a natural floor price. Uh, first, it's artificial, but then once people start picking it up and running with it, all of a sudden, that is the new price of the card. Now, the Greninja SIR, is it manipulation? Probably. Did it start with manipulation? It's hard to say. I mean, it, it could definitely, people definitely thought that it was an over $100 card. A lot of people liked it. Apparently, it was playable. Uh, I don't know to the degree of that. Uh, TCG players, you can tell me in the comments. But $1,000 for a PSA 10 from the Scarlet and Violet era? I get it. Hit rates are harder. SIRs are the equivalent of alternative arts from Sword and Shield. But what's the only, and, and I mean this, the only alternative art from sword and shield the entirety of sword and shield to be an over thousand dollar psa 10 card is it's the moon Brion. would any of you look at the greninja sir and make an even semi comparison to the moon Brion? i personally wouldn't but then again you know what i mean it's just who am i i'm not the market i just think the greninja sir at its entirety is a perfect case of market manipulation on a in-demand popular Hard to pull card from the Scarlet and Violet era. And Greninja SIR is just the tip of the iceberg, really. We saw this happen a little bit with the Mortys and the Iron Crown, which were all manipulation, but we saw the price rises. Uh, and then we saw a card coming onto the market raw before any manipulation for push pushing about 200, 150 to 200. Now, if that wasn't a perfect sign for anybody that likes to manipulate this market to say, buy the shit out, get the 10 copies on market, buy them out at a high. I don't, I mean, if I was doing that, I'd fucking do it. Like, easy fucking money, dude. You got to think about it. I, I had a, I, well, I saw a, a comment on a Reddit post where people were talking about market manipulation. And more or less, it was like, well, what is it worth it for a, a seller to buy it an $1,000 copy of a card, take the eBay 13% fee to the face and, for what? Because you create a new floor price with that purchase. If there is a sale of a PSA 10 copy of a SIR from a new set where all eyes are on it, every convention, every vendor at these conventions, every seller on TCG player, every, every person watching in the hobby will now associate that card with being 
that price. And if that's the case, you're going to have everybody, when they're buying or selling the card, associate it with that price. Even if it was $500 yesterday for a PSA 10, today it's 1000 So if you want it, you'll pay 1000 And then people will say, well, I'm not going to pay 1000 What about 750 And the buyer says 850 And then they say, all right, we'll settle at 8 now it's an $800 fucking card. Uh, that's how that shit happens. So when you consider that somebody goes on their buddy's site because they're in cahoots or an individual does it on two separate accounts on eBay and they list up the PSA 10, they buy it from themselves, they take the 13% fee that eBay is going to take. So all said and done, if it's a thousand, they're going to lose about a hundred something bucks on it. But then every other copy they have behind them now just went up by two to three hundred dollars. Imagine if they had 20, 30 copies. That's a big fucking, that's a big profit. That's a nice day at the bank if you're doing all that. Um, so you got to consider that shit, right? I don't think this is in any way natural, but I will tell you this. All right. I'll admit it. I'll admit it myself. I just, right before right before this video, purchased a copy of the Greninja SIR. Very good looking copy. I think it'll grade a, a 10 very easily. Um and here's why. Here's why I did it. I'll explain to you what I do in situations like this with the market. If I'm not the one personally affecting the market, um, <laughs> then I'll have fun with it. If I can see a pattern or I see something's happening that I've seen happen time and time again, I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm going to make myself a quick you know, half a stack off this shit. I'm going to make myself 500 bucks off this play. I'll buy the card at 250 to $300. I'll get it. If it does look good enough to grade a 10, we send it off in, in, to PSA and get it back in a week. All said and done, maybe I'm spending four hundred dollars. Then I can throw it on market. If I throw it up for eight, sells for eight, eight fifty, whatever. I make myself about three hundred bucks. All said and done. If it sells for nine, I make myself four. If it sells for a grand, I make myself. You see what I'm saying? And all I gotta do, all I gotta do to make this happen, is do it fucking quick. That's that's the, that's the the key word here. I have to do it fast. If you, and most people will do this right now, most of you are doing this right now. Some of you watching the video are probably at fault of this and are thinking to yourself right now, like, fuck, I fucked up. Here's what I'm gonna tell you you've done, probably, or you're thinking of. You probably bought the card or you've pulled the card and you sent it out to PSA in a bulk or value bulk sub. You're probably not gonna see that PSA 10 card if it pulls a 10. You're probably not gonna see it come back for another two months, two and a half months, maybe three, if PSA is really playing with their dingling over there. And guess what? By the time that comes around, this card might have tanked back down to five, four hundred dollars, maybe even three, if it really wants to go to shit. And guess what? By that time, you've lost your money. You've the time you invested into it, not worth it. The money invested into it, not worth it. It's just that's the inevitability. When time plays its game, that can happen when things are manipulated upwards. I will say though. This card is so high in price right now that eyes are probably not going to be taken off of it for a while until something else after this sparks up in price like crazy. And that could be the new set where we haven't even seen half the cards revealed for yet, but that's a little bit away. So my suggestion to anybody that wants to even attempt to flirt with the idea of messing with this card right now is if you do anything with it, do it quickly because the prices are there right now to justify what your ask is. That shit could change in a day and even a week, like literally even me buying it today. If I'm hoping it gets here in like three to four days so I can get it the fuck out. Hopefully two weeks is my time to throw this shit on market. That's what I'm hoping for. The second I get the grades back from PSA on it, I'm screen capping that, throwing it on eBay. I don't even have the card back yet, but I'm going to do that because guess what? I want it in, out as quick as possible so I can make a quick four, five hundred dollars $500. That's what I'm going to do with this situation. Now, if I had a lot, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of capital or the market allowed for a lot of copies to be bought, then maybe you buy a lot more and do it in, in an abundance. But right now, the market's not throwing these things out every, every day. There's like four, five copies, six copies raw on eBay, and they're all in bids, ending six, five, three, two, four, 59 days from now. So you got to take what you're given and work with it. And uh, if you do plan on grading the card, do it as fast as possible. The longer you sit on it, the more likely it is that card will tank in price and the bubble will pop on it. Sure, there is a there is a possibility it could pull a moonbrian and just keep going. 
But the likelihood for a Greninja SIR out of a new set, it's not super likely. It really isn't. There's going to be another Moonbrion for this gen at some point. We just don't know what it is yet. Is it the Greninja, though? Probably fucking not. I'll be honest. They got a new EV set, new high-class EV set coming out in Japan soon. When that shit comes to English, that could be your next Moonbrion. Could be in there. Could be in the next set. Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. But is it probably going to be a Greninja SIR? Probably not. Pro probably not. Just going to say it. Probably not. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Greninja, very expensive. Very expensive. Buying the PSA 10 copy right now? Bad. Buying raw copies to grade into a PSA 10 and selling to people willing to buy it? Good. Anyways, have a good one, y'all, and enjoy your day. <laughs>